An innocent teenage girl caught in the crossfire of a gang shooting four years ago, ago passed away today. Keosha Ford was paralyzed, but her family stayed hopeful that she would make a full recovery. News Channel 9's Catherine Marchand has a look back. 13-year-old Keosha Ford dreamed of playing basketball, but after she was shot in March of 2012, her family simply dreamed she'd live a normal life. It's hard to see my, to see my baby laying in that bed like that. And she can't, I mean, she can't do nothing no more. News Channel 9 checked in with Ford's family and nurses throughout the years. They were always hopeful. And she's coming back around, so I will give her a good year and say she'll definitely bounce back. But each time we went back, she was receiving around-the-clock care. Police say Ford was shot in the head, the unintended victim of a gang-related drive-by. But when you find out that it's a child that's involved, I mean, it hits you in your stomach. She spent weeks in a coma. When she eventually woke up, she could move her head, but she couldn't speak. Right away, the holidays changed for the family forever. She won't be there with us to open up her gifts and stuff like that. It might be a little sad Christmas, but we thank God that she is here. That interview from 2012. Kiyosha's mother took care of five children by herself and throughout her struggles since her daughter's shooting, tried to find the positive. Just keep praying that she come out of it and be the key officer that she was before she got shot. Catherine Marchand, News Channel 9. And funeral arrangements for Kiyosha have not been announced yet. Police arrested a 17-year-old in the days after she was shot. At the time, he was charged with attempted first-degree murder, among other charges. We're working to determine what happens next in that case.